Hi, it's Melanie coming to you from Tamarack Nature Center during our Wild About Water Week. We couldn't have a whole week about water without connecting you with our friends at Vlamo. Vlamo, what's that? You might have heard of Vlamo, but many of you probably haven't. It stands for Vadnes Lake Area Watershed Management Organization. That's a lot of words, and we're going to learn what that all means here in just a minute. You might remember earlier in the spring, our friend Nick came out as a stewardship superhero and told us about the picture post that's overlooking Teal Pond. Teal Pond is the wetland area at Tamarack that you see behind me. So just not far from where we're standing right now, uh, there's a picture post and that's a place where you can take photos and upload them to the picture post website. And then Vlamo can take a look at photographs over time and track the changes that are happening here and make sure that we have a healthy wetland area. So we encourage you to keep doing that. But for today, Nick was kind of busy. He is a superhero after all, and he takes care of erosion problems and pollution problems and algae blooms and all kinds of watershed stuff. Instead, he sent his friends, Cece and Ed, to talk with us today. Cece and Ed are superheroes too. They are master water stewards, and we're gonna ask them exactly what that means. It sounds very superhero-ish to me. And they also brought something to share with us, something that will help you become a junior wa watershed explorer and help you become a watershed superhero too. Let's go talk to Cece and Ed. Hey Cece, hey Ed, how are you doing? Great, good, it's nice good. to be here today. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. We've been looking forward to having you to talk a little bit with us during Wild About Water Week. Um, I know that you guys have the designation of being master water stewards, and we're gonna ask you about that in a minute. But first I wanted to ask you uh, a question. We keep throwing around the word watershed, and it's kind of a general word, and I don't know if everybody knows what that means. Could you describe to us a little bit about what, when somebody says watershed, what do they mean? A watershed would be an area of land where all the snow and rain that falls in that area flow through various wetlands, through streams, into a single body. For example, a lake. Um, the Venice Lake uh, area uh, watershed is actually all the water in that watershed flows into Venice Lake. Wow, so everything in this area flows into one body of water and that's the Venice Lake. Um, so even all the stuff that's the rain and everything that falls here at Tamarack, because we are in that watershed, is flowing there. Is that right? Right. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And so there must be more than one watershed then. There's lots of different watersheds depending on how the water's flowing in different directions. Is that right? That's right. correct. Do they always flow to just one source, to one lake? Is that kind of, or body of water? Yeah, yeah. eventually right. it all It all goes sad, to one, but, yeah. You know, it's it filtered along the way through the wetlands and some soaks into the land and stuff and you know. So Excellent. It, 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 but it eventually gets there. Yeah. Okay. And there may be a series of lakes too in that watershed also. Okay, so it might go through a variety of wetlands and lakes and areas before it gets to its final destination. Right. So, okay. Um, and so, so, so that everybody out there in our video land knows, does everybody live in a watershed, in a specific watershed? Yeah, eventually, yeah, yes. they, they should. Yes. You know, you know even in uh, drier areas. And sure. Stuff, it, it all, you know, because every area has some kind of body of water, some river. Uh, right. You know, even in the southwest. So here at Tamarack, we're in the Vadnes Lake watershed, area watershed, but someone who lives in St. Paul might be in a different watershed right. because right. their water's right. flowing to something somewhere else. Sure. So how does a person find out which watershed they're they're living in? Yeah, that's a really good question, Melanie. and. Uh, I think the best way to do it is uh, how I found out like a few years ago is I just got on Google and said, you know, what watershed do I live in? And you know, like Google always does, they, they find the answer to that. And that's how I got affiliated with LAMO. Excellent, okay. So, so anyone out there can just Google it, in other words. And that's what we do with a lot of things today. Yeah. So, um, and so then where does, how does, um, Blamo fit into this. So the Vadnes Lake Area Watershed Management Organization um, is, how does that connect to the watershed? 
Well, um, some places are designated as organizations, and those are usually within a, a metro type of area. And some are called water districts. But uh, ultimately, it all comes down to kind of a, a government-like uh, uh, organization that helps um, maintain the health and well-being of all the water bodies in that area. And then the people who work for VLAMO are the people that are really in charge of monitoring the health of the water, monitoring the health of the wildlife, and uh, working with citizens in, in the area to be sure that uh, with their, however they're managing their gardens and lawns and stuff, that it's healthy and contributing to the health of the water. As we said, you know, everything even in our yards flows into the water. And so they are all then, you know, working hard themselves, but they also are coming to the citizens to work with them to, to maintain the health of the water. Okay, it's I think I understand. not only the water that they deal with, but also the wildlife. They live in the wetlands. You know, they're very um, instrumental in working for the, the health of the, let's say, the swan population, things like that. So there's water, but it's also the animals that live near or in that water. Yeah, everything. Animals, people, everything. Right. Exactly. Yep, we all have an effect on the water around us. So it's nice to have a, an organization like VLAMO that can concentrate on a specific area um, and, and help help with those things. We love working with Vlamo here at Tamarack. So. Well, Vlamo has 12 lakes and 500 wetlands. 500? So oh, even wow. though it, it might seem not like a huge area, it takes in a tremendous amount of water bodies. Water and diversity within that, that uh, watershed. Okay, excellent. And you are, you are volunteers with Vlamo, right? And you have a special designation I mentioned earlier as master water stewards. What does that mean and how did you get to be the, that? Yeah, I'll take that one. Well, um, a steward is someone who kind of looks after something. And in this case, as a master water steward, we are volunteers, volunteer citizens that work with uh, VLAMO to uh, take care of the water. So we actually studied, uh, had classes over a six month period and then did a, what they call a capstone project, some kind of uh, project that contributes directly to the health of a certain body of water. And, and then um, we also, as part of that, uh, education is very much a part of it. So from our learning um, through the Master Water Steward Program, then we have enough information and knowledge to begin to speak to other people about, you know, how they can maintain their gardens and lawns, how they can help keep drains clean, and all the things that are fairly simple, but, but it goes a very long way to keeping the bodies of water healthy. And if somebody out there wanted to, um, I think the, this particular program is for adults, and if there was an adult out there that wanted to become a master water steward, would they go to the VLAMO website? or? Well, th yeah. they would have information. There's a master water steward uh, website, but ultimately they would have to uh, speak with people at VLAMO because okay. actually um, the different water organizations and water districts, they help support the education for master water sewage. So they actually gave us a scholarship um, and or else, and sometimes they do a partial scholarship. So, uh, so it's always good to have uh, a relationship with the water organization. Uh, but if you go online to Master Water Steward, it, it has a very in-depth description of the course. Oh, it's nice to hear that they have scholarships too, because not everyone is, right. uh, there are people who want to do this, but just can't afford it. And that's, exactly. that's good. That's, that's really good to hear. And you so. do get to do quite a few fun activities from, you know, we put out leaf bags and look at, uh, collect them later and look at uh, macroinvertebrates. Um, we look at uh, things such as the rain gardens that we've put in. Um, salting, you know, be sure and try to get the neighbors to salt correctly and keep grains clean. So yeah. there's a lot of activities you can get involved in. Okay, and I know that one of the projects that you've been working on with LAMO is you've been creating something pretty exciting. Um, it's called the Junior Watershed Explorer Booklet, right? Right. Can you just tell us a little bit about that and um, what's, what is it and what's in it? Well, thanks, Melanie. It's really 
exciting to get to talk about it. Uh, this idea came to us uh, like in the springtime, especially because at this time um, with people looking for things to do with their children and stuff because it's more isolating and school was uh, taking place in a different way. And so uh, we thought, gee, wouldn't it be great for young people to learn about the watershed uh, through activities and uh, exploration and things, and it'd be a fun thing to do with an, an adult or, and do t together. Um, it's fashioned after, if people are familiar with, like a junior ranger program in a state park or a national park. Um, actually, we've done those programs with our grandchildren. We actually did one as adults. We are and the oldest junior right, rangers in Yellowstone. in Yellowstone. I love it. <laughs> but what's wonderful about it is no matter how old you are, you learn something. And you get to really know where where you live or where you're visiting in a, in a much more um, in a deeper way. And uh, so uh, I thought it, I I love water, and I'm so excited about other people learning about water. I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful for kids to learn about water and how to keep it clean and a lot of the simple things that can be done that can make such a big difference. So we're hoping that they'll get as excited about water as we are. Can you t tell us a little bit about maybe some of the things that are going to be in this booklet? Yeah. Um, before I talk about the booklet, I just want to uh, say that we got many of the ideas and a lot of uh, the, the words that we use and everything um, from a, Maya Swope who is part of the Riley Purgatory Water District. And they have done a similar like booklet. And, um, and she was very kind to share her expertise and information. So we took a lot of it, adapted it to the VLAMO information, and then kind of put a little bit of our own spin on it. But, um, but she was very instrumental in helping us not start you know, at ground zero. <laughs> It's always nice to have friends and, yeah. and everything out yeah. and my in our world everything comes out better when you collaborate anyway right. so <laughs> yeah. so um, yeah you would you uh, uh, like to give us some examples of what what kids and families might find in the booklet when it becomes available sure uh, well it's really tailored for uh, a variety of ages but the first and probably the target group would be somewhere in the early um, uh, grade school four six eight years of age. They can always get an adult to help them with certain aspects of this so and you know there will be some things that the young young children cannot do by themselves and that's okay. We're just saying do what you can do. But it'll have things such as uh, fish. Uh, we have a coloring uh, area for local fish and so they can color and learn a little bit about three of the main fish in the in the watershed here. We have some fun um, uh, mazes that actually helps them trace the water where it goes through let's say around an oil spill and how where that can end up leaves through a drain uh, quite a few things like that and then there's that fun things like word find coloring the wetland yeah I think my favorite is uh, the bingo uh, oh. you know we really wanted uh, uh, kids and families to get out and explore the water organization and area and so in bingo it has different things that you can look for and places to go and um, some of the some of the places are specific Vlamo projects where they're doing testing and um, trying to do research and stuff and they ha have information signposts there that will explain it and stuff so that really gets everybody out and then the hope is and uh, toward the end of the booklet kind of comes back around to these are some of the things that you can do and you know th think about what you want to do and um, and pick some things that you know you want to con continue doing so um, so the hope is that they'll have fun they'll learn and and then they'll also uh, feel more more like a, a steward uh, in caring for the water and throughout the book there's um, superheroes um, that kind of guide you through it. And um, I, I, I want to just um, speak uh, to families here, and that is is that, you know, we've had several people review it and stuff, and we very much wanted it to be very accessible to all children. And so there's some adaptations that we've done for kids with disabilities, you know. Um, and so uh, we hope that it'll be very, very family-friendly. Excellent. It sounds wonderful. And I know that it's, 
it's still in the works and it's not quite ready yet. You guys have a draft form of it ready. Um, and, um, and that it's, but very soon it's gonna be ready and people will be able to go to the Vlamo website to find it. Um, what we'll do with, here at Tamarack is we'll put a Facebook post out with that information so that when it is available in a couple of weeks, we'll, people can, can, can circle back and access this great resource. But we wanted to put it out this week during Wild About Water Week because it make, made so much sense and, and uh, we love our, our watershed superheroes. So we wanted to feature you this week. <laughs> Well, and we really appreciate it because what we're going to be starting in a couple of weeks after the graphic artist kind of dresses up um, the, the first draft, um, we're really looking for, for families to try this out. And so this is really a chance for kids and moms and dads and relatives and stuff to be part of the creative process. So we're very interested, you know, we started this, but we're interested in your feedback. You know, you're the experts, so we want to know what do you think, what worked for you, what didn't work for you. So the first 10 to 20 people that get a copy of this and try it out and uh, turn, it in, turn in the, there's a sheet of paper that they turn in, then we're going to uh, talk with them individually and we're very interested in you know what they thought and what worked and didn't work but another thing that's really important is I really we, we really thought it was important for the young people who did the workbook and stuff to get a very special prize so there will be a t-shirt that there'll be um, Lamo junior explorers and stuff so when they turn in their paper and stuff they'll get a t-shirt so Excellent. So that's another thing to look forward to. Yeah. Great. Well, we'll circle back and put that on our Facebook page as soon as it's ready so that everyone can, can have access to it and also give feedback to uh, make it better and make it more accessible to more people and, and just make it the best that it can be. Good. Thank you. Right, thank That'd you. Be All right. great. Well, thank you so much for coming today on this beautiful day at Teal Pond. Yeah. We hope you'll come back and see us again. We will, definitely. Yes. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Mel. Thank you, Mel. In case you were wondering what this funny stick is that Cece and Ed were holding during their interview, it was their microphone. Sometimes we have to get creative out here in nature and a stick was the best way to help them share a microphone and it worked. Well, we're finished for today and gonna to be signing off here in just a minute, but I wanted to thank Vlamo for continuing to protect our watershed and for Cece and Ed Thank them for coming out and spending some time with us today, sharing the Junior Watershed Explorer booklet that's gonna be coming out here in a couple of weeks. It's not quite ready yet, but when it's ready, we'll put a link on our Facebook page so that you can have access to it. Sounds like if you download that and do some activities and give them some feedback through a survey, you'll be getting a t-shirt. <laughs>